What's up? It's Alyssa again. So, um, this video is going to be about, like, what cystic fibrosis is exactly. And, um, oh, one more thing. The, so I guess the reason I wanted to start this YouTube channel is because, um, like, when I'm sick, I'm just kind of, like, you know, my off days or, like, even when I'm not working, I'm just kind of, like, sitting around, like, my house, like can't really do much and I'm like what do I do like gotta do so I want to do something that doesn't like take up so much energy that I'm gonna feel sicker after it so I'm like why don't I you know do what I'm good at like talk about being sick so um that's why I'm doing this because you know I, I'm sick right now but I could still talk on a channel I could still put makeup on and talk and do fine and um, not feel like I want to sleep for 10 hours after so here I am that's why I'm doing it but okay so today it's about um what cystic fibrosis is exactly before I get into anything more serious that way you have like a foundation um according to the cystic fibrosis foundation cystic fibrosis is a progressive genetic disease that causes persistent lung infections and limits the ability to breathe over time and I've explained this probably a million times in my life and I still have such a hard time like explaining what exactly it is so that's why I'm reading off paper here for this part but um Basically, um, it causes buildup of mucus um, in your lungs, in your pancreas, in your sinuses because of a mutation in one of your genes. Um, eventually, the mucus, I mean, we do treatments and everything to um, keep the airways clear, but um, it, is, it is hard and the mucus does trap bacteria, which leads to infect infections and lung damage. And, Eventually respiratory failure, which means uh, you can't really breathe. You can't breathe. Um, you're not gonna be able to live. So um, Yeah um, so basically we're um, Just fighting every day to have like a life where we can function and um, different people with the CF have different mutations which mean they um, have different severities different issues with the disease. It's not like a one one person with CF is every person with CF kind of thing. Like me, um, my lung function, for those CFers, you'll know what I'm talking about, my lung function is like 120, so I'm pretty good on that part. I mean, I still do not get as much oxygen as um, people without, without CF. I do have a harder time breathing. I do get a ton of infections. I'm like almost constantly sick. But as far as my breathing goes, like I've been, I've been doing good so far. Um, my issues are really with the sinuses. I've had a couple sinus um, surgeries. I get really, really, really bad headaches. I take Advil every morning um, in order to not to be able to function for the day, um, which probably isn't that good. But um, other like just other things like energy. Energy is like a big deal because when you're not getting the the oxygen and everything that you need, um, you're not going to be able to do as much. So I have a lot of energy issues. Um, it also leads to a lot of vitamin deficiencies. So basically, we're just, you know, one way or another, everyone, someone, you're, if you have CF, you're sick. So that's pretty much it. Um, here's a couple more facts. More than 30,000 people are living with cystic fibrosis, and that's more than um, 70,000 worldwide. And this is according to the CF Foundation again. Um, about 1,000 new cases of CF are, di are diagnosed every year. And um, more than half the CF population is 18, age 18 or older, which is important because um, the age, um, the average age used to be much lower, and now it's like 40, so that's, <laughs> that's good progress. And, you know, as we keep getting older, hopefully the life expectancy is um, longer too. So, you know, as we get older, the life expectancy moves up and we have more time. Um, the biggest thing is that we just take care of ourselves the best we can and um, not not beat ourselves up over being sick. Like, yeah, there is stuff we could do to keep from being sick, but ultimately, we have a disease, and you know we can't blame ourselves for being sick and not being able to do things because it's ultimately not our fault. You know, as long as we're doing what we can to stay healthy, and you know we're not perfect. I don't do my treatments every single day like I should, and that's just part of growing and, and really like deciding what's important in my life and I've decided at this point like being healthy is important in my life so I need to do my treatments and I need to do what I need to do to stay as healthy as I can. That being said, uh, I'm in the hospital like once a year which um, to some people might be like oh my gosh you're in the hospital? 
but to other people with CF, they might be like, oh my gosh, only once a year I'm there like every month. And so, you know, you never really, everyone's different. But um, yeah, I'm only there like once a year, but when I do go, I um, get IVs um, for like a week in the hospital and then I'll go home with, it's called a pick line, it goes up your arm um, into your heart or something like that. And um, you get IV treatments, I'll get them usually like two weeks at home, so like three weeks, two or three weeks total. And yeah, that's like, that's the biggest thing. I always like brace myself every year, like, okay, eventually it's gonna get to a point where I need to go to the hospital and I gotta be okay with that. And I just gotta stick this through and get through it and I'll be better after. So those are some of my experiences for now. Um, CF, again, like I said, is so many different things for so many different people. So um, where I might have issues with, um, my sinuses or you know getting IVs other people have digestive issues where they need um, feeding tubes because they can't gain weight that's another thing um, like I take enzymes every day so that I can gain nutrients and gain weight for my food if I didn't have those enzymes I, I, I wouldn't be here because I wouldn't be getting anything from food um, and food's kind of important so but with my enzymes I do find there are some people that need feeding tubes or some people that need extra help. Again, everyone is different and I would love um, if like any CFers who are watching this could um, like comment in the comments like what exactly is CF for you? Like what is your biggest issue and um, <clears throat> you know, what's the biggest thing you struggle with? Because we're all different and it's really interesting to see like how the disease affects different people differently and you know, I'm not, I am not cystic fibrosis, I mean I have it but I am not everything that is cystic fibrosis. So, you know, I'm just one person with one mutation or, you know, you know, and that's me. But um, I really don't want this channel to be just about me and my cystic fibrosis. I really want to be able to talk about, you know, different types of cystic fibrosis and different people that have it and really just like share everyone's experiences if you want to comment and I could like share it in my video and just talk about the difference between them. and what life is like for everyone with cystic fibrosis so that um, people around can really understand the struggles that we go through each of us as people and understand that like the biggest thing is really to understand like when you look at someone like don't assume anything like you see me like you know being quiet like if, if I'm at beauty school at night and I'm quiet and just not talkative or I look sad like half the time honestly I just don't feel good like I just can't put in that energy to really be there because I just feel sick like I'd rather just be home like and that's me like don't be like oh you know she, what, what is her problem just because it's something that I am dealing with on the inside and same with someone else like you know is has a hard time breathing and can't really climb up the steps you won't be like oh she's lame you can't even go up the stairs without breathing you need to exercise like no like they have an issue that you can't see like be kind give them the benefit of the doubt understand that there are things going on that you can't see and that's honestly the biggest struggle with cf or any invisible illness is just people understanding that we aren't what we seem like i look fine on the outside like you would, by looking at me, you wouldn't be like, oh, she's sick. But I am, like on the inside, like I don't feel good today. Like my head is killing me. Like every, honestly, like I did like a, during my meditation day, I did a body scan and every single part of me had some issue, like every single part of me had some sort of issue or some sort of pain or some sort of hurt. Like, but you know, it is what it is and I just gotta deal with it. So that's that, that was a lot of talking for today, but that's a little bit on cystic fibrosis. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know, and I will be happy to talk about it more. <laughs> the end.